okay why is this necessary let's address that part first okay here are the problems and these are some comments from uh, students from previous years okay this time to prepare for placements once you are in b school okay it, it, it begins like this you start somewhere around june uh, in a month or so you will have uh, a lot of things you know in place like for example your placement preparation would begin uh, in less than like uh, 24 25 months since joining okay uh, you will have to prepare your cv and cv preparation ask any b school grad they will tell you is a beast in its own rights uh, along with that you have to prepare for interviews gds and whatnot you have to prepare for industry specific questions you have to prepare for generic questions you have to prepare for company specific questions etc 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 all of this takes too much time and too much effort and this is only the placement part Apart from this, you have your academics to prepare for as well. Apart from that, you have your uh, club activities so, because you have to build CV points too, right? And on top of that, if any time is left, you have to, you know, well, use it for your own leisure, for sleeping. <laughs> because trust me, in these schools, even sleeping becomes a leisure sometimes, okay? So that is one big thing. So, by corollary, you can use the time that you have right now to kind of get an edge over others, right? Similarly, uh, we all saw this comment come a lot to, from a lot of students from this year that it's a very slow market. We had to wait a long time before we finally got placements. If we even got to get to placements, right? Uh, this is so true, right? A uh, lot of students have this problem, but the slow nature of the market, a lot of companies market freeze right now they are not hiring and because of that even the folks who could have gotten placed a lot earlier in the yesterday years they faced a long haul this time you know they waited and waited and waited and couldn't really either get a company to you know crack an interview or they just couldn't crack into uh, the same amount of preparation which was perhaps in the because they had more options to go for just wasn't enough this time right so prepare soon so that you get more chances to fail right all right similarly uh, another comment that we got a lot is uh, that i couldn't get much idea from prep team about uh, what consulting or marketing or you know any other particular type of uh, you know mba stream entails and how to prepare for interviews look i get it MBA schools and B schools, uh, they have their own prep teams, right? They have their own alumni, they have their own uh, students in the campus who help the uh, batch for their interview preparation, okay? But here's the thing, they haven't taken interviews themselves, all right? They have uh, given interviews, perhaps, if they are senior to you, and uh, they just know just a little bit more than you. Okay. Would it a lot you can actually prepare along with people who have given as well as taken interviews, who have hired people, so that you can get to know firsthand, like what is required in interview. Okay, what is the company really looking for? Right? That would make a lot of sense, isn't it? And that's probably why a lot of uh, folks in B schools they told it would be a lot better if we could get that kind of an help. Because our uh, in system and uh, power they can work so much okay and these are just a few comments there are so many like these okay so what exactly is the solution for this is, is there anything that uh, people can do while they have a lot of time at their hands right now okay? you have like 60 80 days uh, before you actually get to join the b school so uh, can you actually do something about it? Can you actually go ahead and uh, build your uh, knowledge, your learning, your contacts in this time so that uh, it can actually help you gain an edge when you are in the B school? Let's see. Uh, first things first, let's have a plan. And what exactly is that plan supposed to be? Okay. Uh, the best use of this time is going to be something like this. Uh, first, you need to start building your network. Okay. You need to connect your future classmates or uh, your alumni. Okay. Uh, typically, you can see is that for each B, uh, whenever the admission come out, uh, there is typically a WhatsApp group or some other form of 
basically that is created for upcoming uh, classmates right uh, i also did that you know a lot of my uh, colleagues have also told me similar stories from other colleges so it, it's a very common practice. Uh, good thing for you is that you can go and do that you know without putting in an effort yourself because something perhaps uh, your colleague might already do right However, connected to your alumni is something you might need to put in an effort yourself. Okay, how to find your alumnus? Uh, well, it's very easy these days. You can just quickly go on <laughs> LinkedIn and Google, and you can figure out who your alumnus are. Right. Uh, similarly, industry professionals, specifically uh, folks who you want to, uh, you know, kind of uh, ha have for you. Okay, let's say that you know I want to uh, take before i went to b school so i would have liked to connect uh, myself to other tech professionals who are from the same college as me right uh, that is something which helps a lot later on when you are looking for jobs because uh, these people are going to be your backbone you know they would be the ones who would open doors for you so it makes a lot of sense to invest this time to send connection requests to them have a chat with them ask them their experience of the college etc etc okay then comes the skill development part. Okay, uh, these are uh, soft skills such as communication, leadership, teamwork, etc. Uh, saying this is easy. How do you actually do this? Typically, I have seen people, uh, you know, go ahead and practice uh, giving speeches and uh, preparing speeches as well. Uh, some of them join Toastmasters. Some of them uh, become orators or you know join some uh, debate clubs. Uh, similarly, for leadership and teamwork, people uh, pick up small assignments and project works uh, with either startups or online work or with some friend of theirs or start helping others in B schools, uh, you know, prepare their content, etc. Right. All of these things, they help in uh, honing these skills of yours. And I'm telling you, these are very handy once you are in B school. Okay. Uh, then comes the research part and that is deep diving into your chosen specialization and familiarizing yourself with the industry trends okay as uh, verbose as it sounds it's actually a lot of hard work as well uh, it's one thing to just uh, say that okay i come from a techie background so it makes sense for me to you know go as into product management or consulting uh, it's a totally different thing to actually know uh, what each stream entails and by that I mean the both good and bad okay like it, it shouldn't be just like okay uh, banking is such an amazing sector they get paid through the uh, you know such swanky lifestyle they have look at uh, both sides of the equation uh, you might realize that uh, behind all that you have a lot of hard work like exceptionally hard hard work okay so maybe uh, have this equation presented to you with all the facts so that you can make an informed choice that yeah i think this is worth it or versus you know i don't think this is something i want to do i would perhaps uh, choose a specialization which is more uh, you know custom tailored to my skills and uh, my way of living etc okay and uh, similarly familiarizing yourself to it essentially means that uh, let's say if these days ai is on the rise in fact I think we are already in the era where AI is the main, right? So, you know, if uh, somebody comes into a B school and uh, says that, I don't know what chat GPT is, people would literally laugh at this person, you know, uh, everybody knows chat GPT. In fact, people are now learning how to make advanced use of chat GPT uh, to create images, text and whatnot. In fact, there are tools, specialized tools, which can create presentations for you using only chat GPT scripts, right? Imagine that. Now, uh, when you have people having that edge coming into the mix and uh, if you feel that uh, you are quite not there, you are definitely going to miss out on a lot of things, right? So this is a good time for you to kind of gain it so that someone else is the one who feels that they have lost it. Okay. <laughs> anyway, uh, coming to some more hard things to learn, uh, your Excel is great to kind of become good at uh, how to use Excel for data analytics. Okay. Uh, your presentation skills again uh, this is a very common problem that we as recruiters also face that candidates might be very good at uh, analyzing data but they really don't know how to present the data you know uh, there are subtle nuances to presenting data properly like uh, you know on each slide you should have only one focal point right uh, only one point of actually telling the story how to actually you know weave a story in your presentation etc etc you know 
uh, instead of uh, just throwing in graphs on the you know presentation uh, it also makes a lot of sense to weave a story and present it so that uh, the person listening uh, and consuming the information is able to follow along a lot faster and consume data faster okay that's the real skill uh, if you really want to learn that uh, there are courses that we also have but uh, there are free resources also you can go ahead and you know pick whichever works for you okay uh, then comes the part about uh, case analysis. Uh, now, of course, uh, you all would know that in a B school, the pedagogy is always going to be around <laughs> B school cases, right? So, uh, makes a lot of sense that you familiarize yourself with what business cases are and uh, how are you supposed to navigate through them? What are the typical ways in which question can be asked to you versus vice versa? And uh, you know, it would help you a lot if you can, you know, get accustomed to it beforehand. Okay. Uh, then comes the part about accounting. So uh, this is more for people who are coming from backgrounds where uh, accounting wasn't uh, a course for them at all. Because uh, you know, for folks like that, it can be really complicated. Okay, uh, Makes a lot of sense for folks like that to spend some time learning about basic accounting. Uh, what debit is, what credit is, what's a <laughs> asset, what's a liability, etc. etc. All of those uh, commonly asked questions and uh, you know how balance sheets are built, uh, which header works for when, etc. etc. You know, uh, would help them a lot when they are in B school because honestly, they will not have time to uh, go through many sheets again and again uh, when they are in college. So it's going to be very beneficial for them if they can get all this sorted out before even jo they join the B school. Okay. And finally comes the business writing because uh, let's face it, you will be submitting a lot of assignments, a lot of projects once you are in a B school uh, with a very steep deadlines and with a lot of workload on your head already. So makes sense for you to learn how to write in proper business lingo and uh, well, avoid using, uh, you know, shorthand that we all get accustomed to when we are working or in college, etc. Okay. So get accustomed to using chat GPT, get accustomed to using uh, Grammarly and you know, whichever tools you like to use to make sure that your business writing is spot on. Okay. Uh, the way to, however, uh, do these things and the upcoming 60, 80 days that you have is plan each of them for at least two weeks and then devote one plus one skill each week. What I mean by that is that let's say that uh, you're going to devote uh, two weeks for uh, learning and two weeks for skill development. Okay. Then, uh, you know, pick two of them together. So let's say in the first week, you're going to learn hard skills like Excel presentations, case analysis, etc. And you are going to focus on soft skills as well in that week itself. Okay. Like communication, leadership and teamwork. Or, you know, you can choose another mix. Okay. Then uh, for the upcoming week, you are going to focus on this only learning and skill development. Okay. Then the next week, if you want, you can switch to research and learning or skill development and networking, etc. etc. Okay. But uh, do not try to do everything together. Otherwise, it will become really disastrous. <laughs> I mean, uh, your focus would be spread too thin. Uh, it wouldn't work that way. Okay. A better way to do this is, uh, you know, plan week wise and two weeks for each of them is more than enough. Right. So keep doing that and you will see that uh, each of these becomes uh, part of your skill set. Once you reach B school, you will start realizing the extent to which you have grown when you see others struggling with these things. Okay. Actually, quickly moving forward. How can we help uh, as people at uh, prep zone? We all are I am alums ourselves. We have gone through the same dilemma, same roller coaster, right? That a B school is. And uh, we are honestly very happy to help uh, students, uh, you know, kind of gain an edge before they even get into a B school, right? Uh, for example, our career booster course is an upcoming uh, offering from our side, which is going to include these things such as uh, deep diving into MBA streams of consulting, finance, PM and marketing, uh, live sessions, uh, CV preparation, one on one mentorship, and if needed, mock interview preparation as well, right? Uh, all of these, as I said earlier, are going to be by I am alums and uh, we are just looking out to help, right? We went through these problems ourselves. We kind of felt that pain and that's why we are in it to help you guys, right? 
so that is that uh, nothing more to add per se uh, i'll just quickly address a few commonly asked questions and then we'll open it up for questions uh, you can put it in comments and uh, our team will go ahead and answer them for you okay so we'll quickly go through this list of FAQs such as uh, how should we prepare if we are not sure which field we want to go in that's a very very commonly asked question right uh, how can you be absolutely sure i mean honestly i wasn't sure myself I was uh, working with an investment bank for three years before I joined IM Calcutta, right? And uh, you would think that uh, investment banking, right? Uh, you definitely is a person who would take finance as a role. Not so much. I realized that uh, finance was not something I could become uh, really good at. And eventually I took my earlier discipline of tech and uh, kind of created a career into it of product management, right? So uh, how should you prepare? Well, uh, you should kind of first understand what each field entails. Okay, uh, use this time to kind of gain an understanding of what each field means, uh, what all are the future prospects of it, what is the good and bad, and perhaps talk to people who are working in this field. Okay, that will give you a lot of clarity and will make this decision making a lot easier for you. Okay. Uh, then uh, which sources can be referred to uh, to understand product management wow that's uh, you know that's quite a variety of an answer i can give for this but uh, the best sources for this would be uh, first to build your product sense and uh, first principles thinking i would say start reading upon uh, you know books for product management like uh, you know design skills uh, i would say would be very good if you can uh, learn from this YouTube channel known as Exponent. Okay, uh, they have mock interviews of people working in mang companies, and it will give you a lot of uh, breadth of thought. Right? Don't cram their answers. Huh? By the way, <laughs> yeah, use them as guiding light. Okay. Then uh, when you are preparing for product management interviews, uh, uh, you can use the books known as uh, Cracking the PM Interview and Decode and Conquer. Black books of product management interviews, honestly, we prepared from them, our mentors prepared from them, and we have been coaching using those books since a long time. They always work, you know, wonderful resources. Uh, go ahead and eat those books, okay? Uh, then, I am an engineer, so what all basic courses for marketing, finance, economics should I do before B-School starts and how? How to get into full-stack product management domain, okay? We'll talk about product management a bit later, but uh, basic courses for marketing, finance, and economics, etc. Don't worry about basic courses of these particular streams, okay? I don't think you should worry about that part yet. Uh, all of that you can grab on to quite easily once you are in college, okay? Uh, right now, focus on building the hard and soft skills that we talked about in the previous slide. That part, you will really not get a time for. And nobody will be teaching those to you in college. These disciplines, people will be teaching. You will have gold medalist professors inside a B school who will be teaching you and will be available to answer questions for these things. So don't worry about these right now. Focus on the things that we talked about in the previous slide. Okay. Uh, talking about full stack product management domain, uh, totally depends on uh, whether you really want to get into this domain or not. But uh, I already answered how to prepare for it in the previous question. So you can use the same thing. One more thing I might want to add here is that product management is something which uh, becomes a way of life, right? In the sense, you start asking questions uh, around you, like why is the cup like this? Why is the handle like this? You know, why is a you know, mobile phone shaped like a rectangle? Why can't it be a square? Why can't it be a circle for all I care, <laughs> right? So uh, that kind of a curious mindset is something you should try and develop. And for developing that, again, practice is the best way. Look around yourself, see, you know, or rather start seeing problems uh, which are hidden, you know, uh, by asking questions that why is this thing like the way it is, okay? Once it becomes a practice, you will see that your product management and product skill, a product sense rather, becomes a lot more acute. Okay, try this out. Then as a fresher, what can I do in the next two months? Uh, as a fresher, I think, uh, you know, the things that we already talked about are definitely what you should do in the next two months. But uh, because you don't have, uh, you know, a propensity to kind of jump into problem solving mode uh, like a professional yet, you don't have to worry about it right now, okay? What you can do, however, is as a fresher, what you really bring to the table for recruiters is, uh, you know, a fresh mindset, uh, open mindset, non-corrupted by the corporates, right? So focus on building that. How do you do that? Again, as I said for the previous question, start asking questions, start becoming more curious, okay? And if you have one of those introvert types, then, you know, 
perhaps start shedding that layer okay start uh, becoming more vocal in group discussions uh, start becoming more uh, curious about how things happen start following the money in each particular uh, business domain okay uh, that way you will learn a lot more okay that is what you should do as a fresher and most importantly stop worrying that oh i will be competing with people who have work experience who cares <laughs> you have your own advantages man it's all right okay which uh, courses books internships etc can we take before joining the b school uh, if we want to take up specialization in marketing uh, well you can take up uh, some books and courses for it like for example uh, i would suggest pick up some courses on seo and uh, you know how you can leverage ai for marketing digital marketing specifically right uh, that is the in thing right now and uh, i'm pretty sure that marketing interviews will not really leave you without asking about that right so if you can do a course on that or read up on that that would be very beneficial okay internships maybe avoid okay uh, if you really want to do it want to gain experience sure but uh, don't do it uh, you know just for the sake of doing it if you are doing it for learning by all means go ahead okay then uh, is sales involved in finance roles if yes which are those roles uh, yes there can be roles in finance field which are going to involve a really significant amount of sales element in it uh, but uh, honestly uh, they are a bit different from typical finance role i mean they are not of course uh, your investment banking roles right uh, i will not comment too much about it right now it is something for uh, your mentors to actually go ahead and give you more detail about i don't think i would be the right person for you know answering this so i am out <laughs> okay what should be done so that we receive most shortlist across verticals be it finance strategy consulting marketing i can tell you that uh, creating a kick ass cv yes that is what you should do to receive most shortlist Okay. without having that you just can't expect shortlist right so how do you how do you build a cv well uh, if you go into a campus you can take your time figuring that part out along with your placement committee or you can be smart and use this time and take help from you know professional mentors uh, to actually help you create a kickass cv beforehand so that when you are in campus you don't have to go through multiple iterations like everyone else okay uh then is it worth uh, pursuing cfa and study for intensively for the next two months yes if you are looking for getting into finance having a cfa degree uh, certification definitely helps kind of inclined towards finance okay how does the cfa realistically help someone it tells the company that you are definitely interested in finance even if you have a level 1 it helps okay and uh, it kind of uh, increases your chances of uh, getting the shortlist as well as converting the first few rounds okay uh i have a very bad profile in a fresher so i think this is a good way to upscale myself i kind of agree with it uh, i don't understand what you mean by a bad profile but if you have a cfa level 1 written on your cv and if you are applying for a finance role i think uh, it kind of uh, makes up for a lot of uh, bad on your cv okay so if you can go ahead for and do it uh, i would by all means advise go ahead right this is a very good thing for you to have this certification on your cv all right All right, perfect, folks. So uh, that is pretty much all I wanted to talk about. Uh, as always, uh, Prep Zone is here to help you guys out. In fact, uh, we have a promotional offer going on for folks so that people can come into our career booster plan and uh, kind of boost their careers. As I told you earlier, uh, in a B school, time is of primordial importance. If you have time right now, use it to the best. every minute that uh, you are going to save in a b school by preparing right now it's going to be worth its weight in gold so heed my advice seriously use this time all right perfect so for any other questions we'll have our team uh, who will be more than happy to answer your question in the comments we'll catch up very soon uh, all the very best guys talk to you guys soon cheers